So here we have the Jaguar XF. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As you can see, we have plenty of boot space in this car. We also have three individually folded rear seats should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the speedometer, and on the right-hand side, the rev counter. In the middle, you can see the total mass of the car, which is 16,119. So the right-hand side of that, it will show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic, so we are in park at the moment. Above that, we have the trip computer section for the car, and the digital readout for the speedometer at the top of that section. We back out to the steering wheel. On the left-hand side, uh, these buttons will enable us to uh, change various different bits of stereo information, skip tracks, increase and decrease the volume, for example. We have phone controls over there as well. And on the right-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. Behind the steering wheel, we have the plus and minus pedal. That is so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox, should you wish to. Uh, over in the center, we have the uh, screen for the car. This is a touch screen, so you can access your satellite navigation, for example, and you'll see uh, not only is it a color system, but it's a kind of a photographic system. Uh, so rather than you having um, a cartoon image, for want of a better word, uh, you have a proper kind of Google Earth image of what you see on the screen there. So really nice system, very, very easy to use as well. Uh, you can also get back to your home screen from here, as long as as well as various other things so you can pair your phone you can enter uh, into the media section which is where you'll listen to your uh, music from so you see obviously we have the radio dab fm and am radio you can also listen to your own music uh, there's a few ways of doing that obviously for example you can stream your music wirelessly via bluetooth audio should you wish to and then down the bottom here uh, we can control the temperature of the driver and passenger heated seats as well uh, so loads of things up there to play with. Very, very easy system to use all in all. This is the main kind of home screen uh, and you can swipe through various things up here. So for example, you can see you've got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Um, the cameras button uh, will open up the uh, reverse camera for the car. Putting your car in reverse will also do the same thing should you wish to do it that way, uh, you can do. Working our way down, we have the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature the driver temperature, you can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in, and it'll all show on this screen as you're making those adjustments. Once you're happy with those settings, this button turns your air conditioning off in this case, or back on again. Or you can hit auto, the car will now take control of the direction of the air and the fan speed to maintain the temperature that you've asked for. Uh, you can override that by making any manual adjustment, you'll see that's now gone off with a heated rear screen and a proper heated front screen as well. We then have um, the dial for the gears in this car. So we have park, reverse, neutral, and drive. You can rotate that with your foot on the brake to any one of those uh, that you want to highlight. Uh, and it'll also, obviously, it will show you with the color uh, there or the lighting what gear your car is in. We can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is off when you press that button. Uh, and then we've got driving setups for the car. So you can put the car in eco, you can put it into a kind of a snow mode, you can put it into normal everyday driving, or it's a uh, kind of sportier dynamic mode over on the far left hand side just here. And then finally, we've got an electronic handbrake for the car. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.